Today I thought I'd show you guys how we make an apple crisp cake using our Coleman Cam Stove. It's made out of three ingredients. Apple pie filling, your choice. This is an apple cinema quick bread muffin mix. You can use any brand. And some granola. This here is a French vanilla almond. We're going to use this for the topping. We will only end up using one half of this box, so we can save the other half for later. Let's get started. And as always, we'll be using our frittata pan here because it creates an oven effect, allowing you to bake on top of the stove with the stove ring that we always use. We're going to take half of this cake mix. We're not really going to measure it. I'm just too lazy to do that because this always works for me. But we're going to pinch it in the center and dump half of it into the pan, just like this. Try to make an equal amount. We'll save the other half for later. Then we're just simply going to add a little bit of water. I don't exactly know how much we're going to add because it varies depending on how much mix came out of the box. But I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it just to get it wet. Then we're just going to stir it up right in the pan. What's so neat about this whole trick here is there's no bowls, no mess to clean up. If you're out camping or enjoying yourself traveling, this works out really good because it limits all your cleanup. We're going to add a little more water. And what you're looking for is you just want a kind of a thick pancake batter type of mix when you're done. We're going to mix this up here and get the right texture going on. You don't want it too wet. These muffin mixes work really good. I think they might even work better than the cake mixes. There you go. You can see how it's starting to get all creamy. Nice and thick, but yet moist. It's starting to look pretty good. All right, now that we got it like that, I'm going to go around the edge of the pan and I'm going to clean it off. Because what we want to do is put this cake mix towards the bottom of the pan. Now we're just going to spread it out. This will make a nice cake layer for the bottom of your apple crisp. There we go. I believe that's good enough. I'll show you what's next. Now we're going to add the pie filling mix right on top of the cake mix. Try to get it even so all it gets a little pie or uh, apple in the pie there. And top it off with some granola. This way the top has a nice texture to it. Now from here you just simply put the lid back on the pan. We're going to fire the stove up and we're going to turn it down its lowest settings. And we're going to place it on there and let it cook. And remember I use this spacer to keep that heat away from the bottom of that pan to allow it to actually heat the pan up without burning the bottom. So we're going to give that about 15 to 20 minutes to come check on it. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. We're going to take a look at this again. I've been out here once and already checked on it. Ooh, it's really hot. What we're looking for is to make sure that the cake is cooked thoroughly. Oh yeah, the sides and everything look really set up nice. So we're going to take this, put the lid back on it before we serve it. We're going to take it off the fire here. And we're going to let it set for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. And then we can serve some of it. Okay, it's been about a half hour. This thing's cooled down. And we're going to take and cut us a piece out here and dish it up. You can see how nice it came out. Look how the apples are just oozing out of the cake. So let's, uh, let's get some of it served up here. There we go. Of course, we all know it's better with a nice dip of vanilla ice cream. There's one more thing I like with this dessert, and everybody probably does, is a good cup of coffee with ice cream and apple crisp. So what I like to do with this, instead of having the cup of coffee, is just take a little bit of instant coffee, sprinkle it over my ice cream, and then as I dip the ice cream, you get this coffee effect, and they blend together really good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching again. Appreciate it.